Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these radical equations for the value of x that satisfy this? So the first thing we are going to do here is by taking the square of both sides. So we do that just to get rid of the square root. And so by applying that, we are going to have Two minus square root of two minus x equals x squared. And for the second time, here we can write this equation as two minus x squared equals square root of. 2 minus x. So let's take another square of both sides. We have 2 minus x square all in square equals 2 minus x. Let's try to expand the left hand side. We are going to have it as 4 minus 4x squared plus x raised to the power of 4 then minus 2 plus x equals 0. We can do the rearrangement where we are going to have x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. Here is a quadratic equation where a particular term is missing. So let's try to introduce that term where this can be written as x to the power of 4 plus 0x to the power of 3 minus 4x to the power of 2 plus x plus 2 equals 0. So this is now a complete quadratic equation. Here we can solve this by applying the synthetic divisions where we consider from these two and the factors of two are plus or minus one and plus or minus two. Though I've tested for this and I've concluded the value that satisfy this. Suppose s equals one. We are going to take all the coefficient of the quartic above out and where the first one is one zero minus four one two so we want to reduce this to cubic equations now here we have the first term which is one then followed by we multiply one by one and we are going to have it as one here so zero plus one is one again one multiplied by one that is one then minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. 1 multiplied by minus 3, that is minus 3. And here is minus 2. Again, we have minus 2 here, and is 0. So when we get 0 at the last solution here, it means um, we can proceed to the next step. And again, we we'll test for the other root, which is minus 2. If x equals minus 2, it also satisfies this. But let's go. So for this equation we just got, it is a cubic equation where we are going to rewrite them as we did above. It is the first term, which is 1. We are going to rewrite that 1 as it is. Then minus 2 multiplied by 1, that is minus 2. Then 1 minus 2, that is minus 1. So minus 2 multiplied by minus 1, we get 2 then minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 so minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 is plus 2 and a is still 0 so when we get 0 here it means the equation is looking good and this method is okay so we can now conclude that x equals 1 is one of the solution here x equals 2 is also another solution i mean to the cubic 
So the quartic equation we got above, not the entire uh, the real equation. So we can now take out this as a quadratic, which is x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Because the non-zero term we, there, we have there is 3, so which is a quadratic. We are now going to solve this one quadratically by applying the quadratic equation. As we know, the coefficient of x squared is a, which is 1, and b is minus 1, c is minus 1. By substituting all these in this quadratic equation, where we have minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. A is where we are going to plug in all the values of a, b, and c. Here we have 1 plus or minus square root of 1. Then the whole of this becomes plus 4 because of minus 1 assigned to c. Here we have divided by 2. Next we have x equals 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Here is another two solutions that x attracts. So let's try to summarize everything here. We are going to have the first value of x, which is equals 1. Then x is also equals minus 2. x also equals 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And finally, we have x equals 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. But all these four solutions does not satisfy the radical equation we are given above. The only roots here satisfying the radical equation we have is x equals 1, 